It must be about 7 a.m. on Monday. Things are quiet. No one's up yet but me. Sam and Maggie sleeping very well in the tent. I'm going to go down to the lake and wash my face. No sounds last night. Very quiet except for the creek, Chapel Creek. Very nice. Coffee boy, hopefully we'll be getting up soon, or Cookie, or Josh MacGyver. I hear some stirring in the tent. And again, this is where Chapel Creek flows into Lake Superior. We're just upstream about mm, 60 yards. Right up there. The light isn't very good yet with the sun coming up in the east. But you should be able to make out the uh, two spires in Chapel Rock from this angle. Awesome. And as usual, no one around. To get back here from a car, it's at least a three mile walk from the parking lot. And there's only five campsites right here in this remote area. There's the beginning of pictured rocks. Wow. This has been a magnificent trip. We're starting day five. Check that out. Wow. This is day five, right? Josh is taking his morning bath. Lucy said she's clean. Sam doing his morning backflip. There he goes. Lucy knew. Okay, we're on day five, just left camp and headed towards Mosquito River campsites. This is our overlook from here, looking back at Chapel Beach area. We're up on the cliffs, obviously, pictured rocks. Look out, good job!
steep enough to jump, Sam. You ready? No way. Yeah, don't get too close to that rock. Looks like it's ready to go. Okay, we'll take a little stop here then. Pretty spot. You think 150 feet up or 200? Laid back Lucy she loves to hang over the cliff. Grand portal. Get too close, Maggie. Very good. Grand portal. The beach above the cliffs. Lake Superior blew all that sand up here, they say. Hard to believe. There's our destination, about 14 miles away. We'll be there tomorrow. Maggie, back up a little bit. You're scaring me. Take that one with you, Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> Every day just seems to get better than the next. The weather stays between 75 and 80. No trail that way, huh? No. Whoa, don't go down there. Mm.
another, this is the drive-through arch. Around that third point is where Munising Falls is, about 14 miles away. 14? Mm hmm. 13, uh, 14. Well. Oh, we're not the mosquito yet. Yeah, but we only have one mile, so that would be like 13. Okay, then 13. On the other side of that? Looks like real shallow water up against that cove. Area. I can't see. Six sites. See, and there's a beach that we can go on to. Heck yeah. Got a rock shelf. For a beach all the way out. Pure rock with a cliff at the end in the water. Cool. Yeah, yeah we need to go fast. It's right up there. Go ahead. Nice job. It was too easy. We didn't even get Sam tired enough. Take a good the Mosquito River. Flowing into Lake Superior. We are here. Here's our beach at Mosquito. Lots of kayakers, day kayakers from Munising. It's going to get busier and busier as we approach civilization. Well, this side of the Mosquito River, we have the beach. If you want to call it a beach, it's a rock ledge all to ourselves. Josh is going to try to catch us a fish. We're going to get some water, filter it, and go for a swim. Yeah, but it'll be nice once you get in. Yeah, I'll watch for him. Okay, this site has become our home for the evening. Our last campsite and our fifth night. Funny, we're on site five. This is the last time we set up this, these tents as we head for Munising Falls and the truck tomorrow morning early. It's a 12 mile all day trek to get to the truck. Have dinner in Munising and drive home about eight hours. Cookie is about to start dinner. Cookie, what are we having tonight for dinner? The kids already had ramen. Chili mac with beef and noodles and chicken. All right. Sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm.